Good morning, folks. We've got a lot of stories to cover, and there are some extra videos you might need to catch up with as well, but we're starting with our star. We're at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last day very quiet, but with powerful coronal holes incoming. It's a considerable departure of the coronal hole from the polar region down to a transequatorial zone, and Earth will magnetically connect to it by the weekend. One visual splendor on our star early this morning as the northeast plasma filament lifted up, broke out, and whipped up to the more magnetic polar region of the sun. On to the solar wind here, very calm variations, but over on the far right side, more of these cosmic ray error spikes. You know they are cosmic ray errors because all other telemetry for geomagnetism is calm, except for the ISWA model, which is only based on that solar wind data. And if you are at all scared over videos you see using this model, watch this video. It is linked below and will antidote that fear. But it's not like cosmic rays are irrelevant. They just bypass Earth's magnetic system and cascade in the atmosphere. This is a totally different type of problem with many effects on the weather, volcanoes, and human health. It's just not like a solar CME impact. Also linked below is this video introducing cosmic rays. Up next, we're in Iowa where multiple tornadoes are confirmed to have dropped yesterday. The system that dropped them was the reformation of remnant storms from the night before, and we are going to peek in on the sequence from GOES satellites as powerful Midwest signatures appear there, and into the evening the west lights up as well to send another round of storms eastward. The lightning did put on a pretty good show for us here in the northern New Valley of the Sun. Up next, Jupiter. The Europa Clipper mission to the Jovian moon is a go. They have tons of data instruments on there. They plan to get the best data ever on the subsurface ocean of the world, hoping to find life or signs of past life, and they also have a plasma instrument and magnetometer for analyzing the crazy energetic Jupiter plasma torus. Folks, the International Cosmic Ray Conference proceedings are coming out this morning sharing two of their dark matter searches, nada from the center of the galaxy, nada from the center of the Earth. Both studies look for annihilation events between the hypothetical particles, and this is a POS-worthy pursuit if there ever was one. Wink. Couple real things to end here. First, the gamma signature of the galactic plane arguably shows it rippling, a pattern that expands as you move away from the galactic center. It is easiest to see on the left side of the bar as the bright points stagger up and down, pretty much equidistant apart. Last but not least, if true, this is a huge change in cosmological constituents. They believe numerous unidentified light sources and cosmic catalogs are in fact energetic electron halos around massive objects. In fact, they say they are ubiquitous. Everywhere they look, they are finding signatures of huge charged particle halo clouds around objects that they could not see before. This of course has implications for our plasma cosmology film. That and our Catastrophe movie are both linked for you below this video, along with those two other videos I said you should watch today if you get a chance. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 4.55 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.